hello guys and welcome to my channel today i'm super excited because i have the energy to answer some of your questions and also dive into the topic of actually finding a job in turkey a lot of you have been sending me dms and even though i would want and i wish to find this employer so that i can connect you uh, together like i can just bring the employers to you right away i can't okay because things here in turkey they are done differently okay some of you i really understand your situation i really feel it because i have been there looking for a job and finding a, a job especially if you don't know anyone and in an, another different country that you are not living in it can be very frustrating and also very challenging i know what i'm telling you and also i know how you are feeling and i really really want to sympathize with you however i cannot find the employers so that i can actually give just directly to you but what i can assure you i can give you the information that gonna help you especially for those who have been asking me question about finding a job here in turkey so that you can navigate to so that you can you never know find a job so if turkey is a, your dream country in terms of actually looking for a job or finding a job this video is for you but if it is not like if you are not interested in turkey or turkey please pass this video and look for another country but at the end of the day like i always say you need to start somewhere whether it is in turkey whether it is in kenya whether it is in gulf whether it is in us in europe wherever whichever country you need that experience and you need to believe in you okay so let's dive in because i have a lot of information that i want to share with you so that we can assist each other me and you you assist me i assist you okay in terms of actually finding a job okay the only thing i want you to do is actually like the video subscribe to my channel channel and also follow me okay so today's topic we are going to be diving in very fast and very quickly about the top tips i have for you on how to find a job here in turkey as a disclaimer these are my own opinions my own uh, words my own uh, things like in terms of actually research i do not guarantee you you're gonna be getting a job once you do all these things but i can assure you they're gonna help you in terms of actually navigating through finding a job i know these things okay i know i feel it because i have been there in the same shoes that you are right now in in terms of actually looking for a job so the very first tip i have for you guys is in terms of actually uh doing your research you want to come to work in turkey and you know very well that maybe you are professional in a certain area try as much as possible before even thinking of actually uh, sending your cv or maybe uh, start looking for the jobs uh, in their websites or maybe in the job search uh, websites try as much as possible to do your research to see the job market in turkey because not every job in turkey like i always tell you uh, foreigners can get or maybe people from outside can get that job okay in terms of actually medical like in, in terms of uh, healthcare in terms of actually being an um, not even an as being a doctor unless they are actually private companies it is very difficult for you to get in uh, jobs in those areas because they have been preserved for the citizens of Turkey by the government okay so try as much as possible are possible to do what to do the job research or the job market know the jobs that are in demand and also try to check your qualifications okay don't just dive in because you want to come to turkey or you want to find a job here without doing your research if you are maybe you are qualified or maybe if you are let's say something like um which job can i use uh let's just basically talk about unskilled job maybe you want to come here and do these jobs that are unskilled try as much as possible to do your research which job do you which job can i actually get when i come here or maybe if i'm looking for a job which companies that can i apply for okay something like maybe in a sector like tourism because turkey is among the the country that are actually are highly in terms of actually they are uh, turkey is among the countries i'm looking for the kids so don't be distracted when i see i look the other side turkey is one of those countries that are actually uh tourism is booming because it hosts or maybe a lot of guests are coming from all over the country to actually come and 
visit this beautiful country so you can do your research depending on your profession to see which kind of jobs falls under the sector of tourism uh, in terms of actually export and import turkey exports and also let's just say exports a lot of things because it produces a lot of things so if your profession falls under this staff or maybe this um this sector chances are you can get an employer who wants people from outside to actually work in their uh companies okay something like let's say just if i go lowly something that is highly demanded especially for ladies here it is in terms of actually hospitality in terms of actually uh housekeeping because you're going to be dealing in restaurants in uh not restaurant in hotels or yeah tourism hotels and also in terms of actually caregiving in terms of nannies uh, babysitting jobs those jobs are highly demanded here in turkey okay and also let me just tell you in terms of actually even if you're a lady if you find a good employer or a good family chances are you're going to be paid very well compared to other nationalities that i know that are paying very low when it comes to these kind of jobs so before you pack your things before you even think to go to an agent to find a job do your job market no what job can i do very well okay so that is the very first tip i want to give to you guys because a lot of you some of you when you send dms or maybe you ask i want to find a job or i want a job in turkey and you are asked what kind of job do you want or what kind of job are you looking for mark you some of you, you don't have even an answer you just say any job any job there's nothing like any job okay because I really hate someone who says any job because if you say any job someone can give you something that you cannot handle how will you navigate through do you are such even if it is just something that you know maybe you have never gone to school or maybe you don't have uh, papers or qualification but you have experience on that sector make sure that you are doing your research to know exactly what you are coming to do okay now another thing that i want to share with you maybe my second point or my second tip is in terms of actually your cv and your cover letter okay these are very crucial even if it is a nanny job the way you present yourself or maybe the way you actually uh tell the employer that you're looking for a job chances are someone will look at you the way you are talking the way you are presenting your papers and stuff like that and they will know that this person has gone to school this person is someone that we need okay this person can improve our lives in terms of actually taking care of our children or maybe in terms of actually working together in our sector or in our company so try as much as possible to work on your cv even if it is like i said even if it is manual job that you're looking for have a cv okay write your cv down and something that i love or a platform that i have known that is so helpful it is in terms of actually uh so exactly what is JobScan? JobScan is a service designed to help job seekers optimize their resume and also uh, resume or resu uh, yes, resume applications for applicant tracking system or ATS used by many companies during the hiring process. Now, let me just go in details what exactly features and the pros and the cons of using these websites okay this is my own review now ats or ats resume scanner you upload your resume and a job posting jobs can analyze them to identify how well your skills uh, actually and uh, experience matches the keywords and requirements in the posting it provides a score and suggest improvements for better optimization and also what another feature that is actually highly uh, used and very useful it is in actually res resume or uh, resume and cover letter optimization jobs can offers guidance and tailoring your resume and cover cover letter to highlight the specific skills and also experience mentioned in the job description now another feature that is very important it is in actually resume building it also helps you by providing a tool to create a professional and ats friendly resume format another feature that i really love about this website it is in terms of actually linkedin profile optimization it offers tips on optimizing your linkedin profile to showcase your qualifications and 
are actually discover a lot of many so that you can uh, many elements so that you can be discovered by recruiters okay it is very the pros one of the pros is actually improved in terms of ATS compatibility job scan helps identify relevant keywords and also skills needed for your resume to pass through the initial ATS screening stage okay it also targeted for resume building it helps tailor your resume for specific jobs posting like i said increasing your chances of getting a job or getting noticed by hiring managers another thing is actually like i said it has formative tips jobs can suggest formatting improvement and also better read readability and also ats uh, compatibility okay it also offers additional resources like career advice and also interview tips so why not use job scan now let me tell you a secret that nobody tells you nowadays we live in the era of ai companies don't have that time that much time to go each for each and every um papers or maybe cvs checking and uh, drafting and seeing and something like that what they do they just put in the you are you, you have sent your, your cv they scan your cv in terms of actually uh picking the numbers or maybe the skills that you have okay so what i love about job scan is that it can help you or this website it can help you in terms of actually analyzing your cv you insert your cv it's gonna go through all of it it's gonna tell you the mistake that you have done uh it's gonna recommend you to add even the skills that you don't have so that these skills can fall under the scanning routine or the scanning uh, situation when it, the the employers are checking your cvs okay they can pick the uh the skills that are mentioned in your cv and they can actually consider having or giving you a job okay even if it is a cover letter how are you writing it are you formatting it well uh in terms of actually even your uh, your linkedin profile let me tell you do not assume that every job or maybe uh, the job that you are looking for even if it is low as low as you can think of okay you don't need a uh, an account maybe at linkedin or maybe a cv you don't need it you need it especially if you are dealing or if you're looking for a job internationally you need to have some of these things and one thing i love about the job scan website it is that it's gonna help you even analyze your linkedin profile to see are you using the right thing is your profile picture okay is the things about you or your bio is it okay the skills that you have mentioned on your uh on your you on your linkedin are they okay are they the ones that are actually empl employers are looking for so that is the beauty of this uh a website and i'm gonna leave a link so that you can try it has a free version and also a paid version mark you if you do or maybe if you you try to implement some of the things that are actually uh, mentioned or how it's going to help you to actually implement your cv and actually format it very well let me tell you within a matter of time after trying and trying different companies you can learn for a job okay so one thing i always say is that be always positive when you are doing these things okay have intentions be intentional know that you want to especially if you are thinking of actually uh, coming abroad you i'm assuming or i'm assuming that you already have a uh, you already have your passport ready you already done some research about the job that you want to come or you already have in mind the job of uh, the job that you want to do so just work on your cv your cover letters even if it is very difficult getting a job here but who knows okay who knows god works in different ways and you are uh you are you are you are not even your luck yes maybe something like your chance is not the same as mine okay uh maybe you that your destiny let me use the word your destiny god has kept a destiny for you okay maybe uh part of it is that for you to navigate through or maybe for you to be where god wants you to be is through this certain route and if it is through this country then you can pass through this country and then go to another better country or maybe a high paying job okay do not think that oh because i'm starting here i don't need this i don't need to present myself professionally present yourself professionally so that people can see that you are in need or they want you okay so that is the second one or maybe the fourth point i want to give you another point is actually in terms of actually the work permit the visa requirements do your research 
understand the work permit that or maybe the, the the permits that are needed in terms of actually working here in turkey of course i know a lot of you always think that maybe turkey because it is at this and this and this because of the high inflation because of the economy or things are running like this and this but they also have their own regulations in terms of actually uh, when it comes to visas if you come here on a touristic visas chances are you might get an employer but chances also are you might get an a job but you won't get arrested even not chances it is pos it is done nowadays you might not get a work uh, permit or maybe a resident permit without the work permit you might be running into trouble when it comes to actually police checkups okay so to be on a safe side try as much as possible to find an employer who is ready who is willing to help you to do what to bring you in the right way in terms of actually working okay that is a beautiful country if you get an employer who is ready to work with you let me tell you there are so many benefits in terms of actually exploring the country in terms of actually meeting different people uh, try even their cuisines okay quickly another point that i want to share with you it is in terms of networking 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 this one i want even uh like i i will always emphasize on it try as much as possible to connect with the people that are already here they are working in the sector that you want try as much as possible to go to facebook groups that are actually in terms of jobs in turkey people who are working here or experts here in turkey and ask them questions connect with people on the linkedin or maybe on their portals in terms of actually job uh search engines and also on my website Try as much as possible to ask questions and also try as much as possible to let them know that you are looking for this particular kind of job. Okay, so that is very, very important because through connection, you can uh, find a job. You never know who, uh, you, who you are actually interacting with, can, who can actually help you. Something else that is so uh, important is in terms of learning the language. In Turkey, they use Turkish. So try as much as possible before coming here or be, be, maybe before even thinking of actually uh, looking for a job in Turkey to learn basic Turkish, okay? This will help you in terms of actually navigating through, talking with the locals, and also just uh, in terms of your job because many recruiters here want people who can actually speak and understand Turkish as much as other foreign languages are concerned. So so if you are a person who is willing to learn Turkish, it's going to be a very good uh, or maybe an added uh, situation whereby employers will see, will see that you have all the qualific qualifications they are looking for. So Turkish is very important just, uh, just like other languages like German, like French, like Spanish. They are very important here in Turkey. Okay, so that is another thing I want to share with you. Another thing I want to share with you very quickly is in terms of actually uh, if you have tried as much as possible maybe you don't maybe let's before even i go to this one another point is actually for you to try as much as possible to go to the career websites or this job search websites we have career.com we have linkedin we have indeed we have gross do we have a lot of them that are actually you can use to find jobs here in turkey go through them and also see which kind of jobs uh, employers are actually posting there so that if you are falling in that category you can actually easily uh, send your cv send as much as possible okay just like i said work on your cv make it look better and also uh, send to as much as possible uh, different companies in different sectors that you are actually interested and in, you have the knowledge okay or the experience okay something else is in terms of actually using agents if you have done everything you have tried several times you cannot find any job because i know it is very difficult let me tell you i am in that situation whereby getting a job is not easy especially in a foreign country if you don't have a connection it can be very frustrating try as much as possible to find genuine agents who can actually help you in terms of uh, getting a job of course you're gonna spend money let me not kid you even if you're using uh, maybe if you are not using an agent you're gonna spend money on your flights on your on your visa on your accommodation and everything you're gonna spend money Pray to try agents who are genuine do you res research uh, know the company that you're using are they genuine are they bringing people in the right way okay don't just get any agent who are lying to you oh we're gonna bring you you're gonna be working in healthcare. you're gonna be assistant doctor you're gonna be assisting doctor you're gonna be 
and if you even don't know the Turkish rules here okay so don't do that okay when you come here and then they pack you in one accommodation there's no food there's no work you start working these kind of small jobs here and there you are stuck you get frustrated and then you are like Turkey I don't need to go in that country I understand it's not easy getting a job here in Turkey let me not kid you but with the right uh, uh, right mind and also with the right uh, tips like I'm telling you you can land at your dream job okay. another thing if you have tried all the things you've tried even the agents you cannot get a job why not try remote working there are so many remote working uh, advertisement on a website like LinkedIn if you can handle those kind of jobs that are being posted there depending on your profession then why not try or why not utilize that uh, opportunity to actually work remotely uh, depending on where you are you never know if you can get a job a remote work work and then if your dream is to come to Turkey you can still come and work remotely touring each and every place here in Turkey and earning your own money now last but not least I want you to stay positive getting a job finding a job uh, and also just having something that you know that this is what I'm going to be doing is not easy the whole journey even getting the visa and everything is not very it's not an easy job or an easy situation and I totally understand and I know how you are feeling why not stay positive and also be patient with the process if an employer not even an employer if you have sent your CV you are not getting uh, any feedback maybe you are getting rejections and rejections and rejection be patient be positive because sometimes rejections is redirection maybe God, God doesn't want you to be in this country he wants you to be in another in another country that is highly paying or maybe your skills will be highly valued so try to be patient try to be positive and also just think positive have a positive mind don't best yourself or maybe don't uh, actually just be on a negative side or negative people telling you Turkey is not a good country Turkey you don't don't need come to Turkey you don't need yes I understand that salaries are low I understand the high inflation I understand getting a job is not easy but why don't you just open your mind and think like this maybe if I start somewhere like in Turkey I can maneuver through or I can get uh, a way how I can go to another country that actually win actually pay me well okay think positive and also be uh, like have a positive mindset and never stop learning new skills regardless of which country you are looking for a job if you're looking for a job in this country try as much as possible just because you came as a nanny doesn't mean that you're gonna be remaining to be a nanny okay you can improve yourself and be something else or someone better the best version of yourself so guys I have to go I have to go to take care of the kids and if you're liking my content you want to hear more content especially when it comes to job we can assist each other by knowing the information even the Bible says my people fail because they don't have the knowledge okay so let's learn let's learn together let's be real i would want to hear your thoughts your comments and also just comment below which kind of job are you looking for okay so that maybe someone somewhere you never know can see you can see your comment and you can actually uh link together and get a job until next time guys i'll see you bye bye Grishus.